Well, thank you so much, Pastor Becky, and thank you everyone here at Ascension Lutheran Church. We're just delighted to be here with you this morning. As Pastor said, I was, um, I was born and raised in Wisconsin. I went to the University of Wisconsin, and when I graduated, I moved to Colorado. When I did that, my sister said, I know exactly what's going to happen here. You're going to move to Colorado, meet a guy, and you're never going to come back. And that's pretty much what happened. <laughs> so I married my husband, Greg, love of my life, and we have four boys between the age of eight and 12. As you can imagine, there are not very many dull moments in our household. <laughs> um, when I'm not being a mom, I am a research analyst. I write research papers about the future of technology and, and, and go around and, and speak about them. So I love to write, and that was part of what led me to write this book. We, after we had our three biological children, we felt called by God to adopt our fourth child, and so we adopted my son Dylan when he was 13 months old from China. We got home, and it was clear immediately that he had a lot of severe issues, severe physical issues, intellectual issues, and then the hardest thing were the emotional issues, and, and this went on for a number of years. It wasn't just a few months when we got back, which is more typical in most adoption situations, but um, at the same time, our second oldest son was profoundly deaf in one ear and was losing his hearing in the other ear. And doctors said, there's nothing we can do to stop this. It looks like he's going deaf. And my third oldest son had had a stroke that left the left side of his body partially mobile. So we were in, in just a very desperate place. At one time, things with our youngest son were so difficult that we didn't know if we would be able to keep him in our family. We went to dozens of doctors and specialists, and we weren't really able to get diagnoses, let alone treatments for all of the severe issues. And so out of desperation, we just turned to God and we said, God, you are our last hope. And what a great last hope to have. So as we turned to God and drew closer to him, we learned a word in the New Testament called sozo. It's a very special word. It's used more than 90 times. It's a Greek word used more than 90 times in the New Testament. And it means to save. Um, God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world. So it means to save, but it also means to heal. And we really needed healing. So we turned to God for healing. And we also learn that we are in Christ. The Bible says we are in Christ, and he is in us. So we are not victims, and, and none of you here are victims either. We would often look at all the things going on in our life, and we thought, oh, poor us. Life is really hard. But, you know, we are not victims. We are overcomers because we have Christ in us. Dad, you preached a sermon 30 years ago where you said, let go and let God. And I was listening. <laughs> we have found that closeness with God is what really lifts you out of crisis. And so over time, amazing things happen. My son Griffin woke up one morning, and he could hear. He went to bed the night before, and he couldn't hear. And he woke up the next morning, and he could hear. And he doesn't even need hearing aids anymore. My son Wilson that had the stroke, you'll see him out, uh, out here after church. He'll be happy to show you how fast he can run. <laughs> And my son Dylan, that doctors said would never be able to learn, is now keeping up with grade level requirements in all areas except for reading and writing. So um, I wrote Finding Sozo to encourage and to give hope. 
And so this book is really for anyone that's ever had a hard time in life to give you hope and to give you encouragement. Love, God's love, transforms everything. And it, we can make the world a more beautiful place with his love. So thank you so much for your, your prayers. You've prayed for us for years. Your encouragement, it matters, and it changed our life. So thank you.